everybody, it's Emily with Love in the Shoe Box, helping you make your best Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. Today I have a girls five to nine um, over the moon or outer space box. There's a lot of things that are from the over the moon movie in this box, which I've never seen by the way, <laughs> but the stuff is cute. Um, this is in a seven quart Sterilite box right now. I can't, I usually buy these at Walmart. I can't find them anywhere, but I had packed this when I still had some. All right. I decorated the box with stickers, outer space stickers that I found um, on the inside of the lid. They were on clearance at Walmart a while back and a package of a whole bunch of different stickers. On the top, she has a washcloth and I'm gonna turn it this way. And inside on the edge, it looks like from being crunched in here, they do have a bit of a fold, but they're stickers with outer space theme. This is Crayola, and there are a bunch of Crayola coloring sheets. And I believe I got these um, at Walgreens after Christmas, 70% off clearance. And they're just a bunch of fun outer space themed pictures to color. Um, she has on the top this really soft little alien guy from the over the moon. I guess it's Gobi. I think that may be how you pronounce it. Like I said, I've never actually seen the movie, but it's a Netflix movie and it's just a really soft little cuddly plush. And she has two little bracelets I put around Gobi's little leg and these uh, I don't know Walgreens or Walmart clearance after Easter or after Valentine's I think after Valentine's Day she has a pair of heart socks these I got on clearance after Valentine's Day she has an over the moon Barbie doll and is this the singing one? Oh, yes. This one sings. And her, she has jointed knees and jointed arms. So a really fun doll. Really pretty doll as well. And she has this over the moon, another character. I don't know the names of all these characters, but even if she doesn't know, she can play with them. I mean, it's like outer space. She has an outer space helmet and the helmet does come off and on. She has this little, little money pouch and it, I believe I got at Dollar General for a quarter on clearance. And inside of that, she has a chopstick that I wrapped in a plastic baggie so that in case it would melt, it wouldn't ruin, any, ruin anything else in the box. She has a purple googly eyes and these I got um, at, I believe, Walgreens after Halloween, maybe, maybe 90% off really inexpensively. She has a novelty pen with a star with glitter in the star. And this I got at Dollar Tree. They have them right now at Dollar Tree. I like them for the girls outer space boxes. She has a pencil, not a pencil, goodness, a toothbrush. These are five for a dollar, Dr. Fresh at Walmart. She has these cute gloves with the space scene on them that says explore. And these I got at Dollar General on clearance a while back. And I think you got like two pairs for 50 cents or a quarter. They were very inexpensive. She has these glow in the dark stars that you can stick on the ceiling or the wall. And I included the instructions. I got these, I got these at Hobby Lobby, I believe. And I used the 40% off coupon back when they still had those. I don't know how much I paid for them, but I think that they are lots of fun. And the instructions are inside the baggie with the stars. She has just a little goodie baggie here, an organza bag and inside the bag, she has three little spiky balls. These were after Valentine's Day clearance. She has a little outer space. It's starting to storm here, so it got very dark. 
so the lighting isn't the best. I'm sorry. I have to apologize for that. But she has a little outer space kaleidoscope and a whistle that I get a bunch of them on bulk. I mean in bulk on Amazon. And she has an outer space little astronaut bounce ball. These came in a party pack at Walmart on clearance, I believe after Valentine's Day. And in here she also has high heel shoes that go with the Barbie, but the Barbie is really tall. So with the shoes on, she would not fit in the box. So I put the shoes in the little baggie. She has a bunch of sparkly little hair bands and one of these little watercolor paint sets that were, I believe, after Christmas or after Valentine's clearance. I think Valentine's, I'm not sure, at Walmart. And I don't remember how much they were, but got a very good deal on them. She has a toy hard figure of, I believe it's Gobi. Some of you have probably seen this movie. So, and this I think came with one of the Barbie dolls. She has a sparkly mirror, compact mirror. These were a quarter after Christmas clearance at Walmart. She has a large bounce ball and these I order on Amazon in bulk and I think I'm not really in bulk but I get like 12 of them and they are just a little bit over a dollar a ball I think they're I think they're like $15 for 12 but I really like them they're just a little bit smaller than a tennis ball so it's a great big rubber bouncy ball lots of fun she has a bar of soap and a purple mustache lip whistle And I love this. Let's see if I can get it out so you can actually see it well. Um, it is a dress that I got at Walmart, I believe for $4 on clearance. And as you can see, there's a sparkly moon and stars. I think it's a size 10, 12. And I think it really goes well with the over the moon theme because there's a moon and stars and it's got this pretty pretty skirt on the dress. So this, this was a really good find. Found it a while back at Walmart. She has this little outer space little maze, BB maze. She has this bracelet maker and these were a dollar after Christmas marked down at Walmart and you can, it comes with a whole bunch of beads to make your own bracelets. She has these Crayola markers, which came with the coloring sheets and stickers that were included in this box. She has this gold sparkly slap bracelet, and it matches matches the, the dress. She has this school pack, and these I believe some of them I got for a dollar, some of them I got for 50 cents, and some of them were donated um, by a really nice viewer that sent me some. So I got lots of these really fun um, pencil bags after the back to school clearance last year, like last September. And inside she has tons of stuff. She has a glue stick and a calculator and a pair of scissors and there's pencil sharpeners a purple eraser and a whole bunch of pens and pencils some of them even have an outer space theme on the pencils and I think those may have come from either Walmart or Dollar Tree um, Valentine's um, she's like a little little tiny blue pen, just lots of fun things in there. She has a composition book with gold sparkly glitter on it. And it's just a composition book for her to use for school. 
and she has this little journal notebook. These come from Dollar Tree, and they've got I put some stickers that came with them, I think, inside, and it's just another little journal or notebook. She has two of these little tiny blank paper, I guess they're not blank, they're lined paper little notebooks, and these were Valentine's Day, after Valentine's Day clearance. And she has colored pencils. I'm not making a very neat pile. It's starting to look crazy. And I believe these are probably the instructions for the doll. Um, I think she has like the button batteries inside. So I did not include batteries to change. But I also included part of the box that shows pictures of the characters. And... Um, yeah, it just kind of talks about them so that in case she wanted to see what the characters were of her dolls, they are in the bottom of the box. And that is everything in this Over the Moon Outer Space box for a five to nine girl. I hope you enjoyed this one. This one was really fun to make. Um, tell me about your space boxes. I love making space boxes. I'm doing a few this year, boys and girls, because they're just so much fun to me. Alright, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon in another video.